they programmed it so when the deaf system goes out, you can't drive anymore. So I had to spend the night in Osceola because it's stupid. The stupid deaf system on the pickup went out. So that was the start of my adventures of bringing equipment home. get the planner home. Oh, there's more. The planner stayed, so I had to pay to have his pickup hauled down to Clorinda, to the dealership, to have it worked on. Meanwhile, I had to stash the planner, nicely asking the local hauling company that hauled the pickup to just leave the planner uh, at their property's location. And we had noticed a bolt was coming loose on the frame. They're like, oh, we'll take care of that. Well, I come back like a month later. Middle of April, I want to be planting corn. And I had to line up a friend to help me bring the pickup home. They said they would have taken care of that. Well, they didn't. Uh. But we did. We figured that before we got there. Because I called and made sure, like, hey, you got, you got that bolt on there, right? Oh, no, we never could find one. So... Of course, I stop at Fast and All in Creston or something on the way to Osceola, and they have like 12 of those bolts. Like, I don't know what these these guys were clearly lying to me and or lazy and incompetent, whatever. Oh, dude, I think it was the latter. So I bought several of the bolts because they were, I mean, big bolts, but they were pretty cheap. And you know, we put it on ourselves. We got there early morning before they had all showed up to work on a Saturday. We hooked up to it, put the new bolt on it, and just pulled away. I'm like, I'm going to deal with the people that lied to me about this. Idiots. So, that was my adventure bringing home the black machine in the spring of 2019. And Sounds then, like a nightmare. This spring, spring 2022 trying to get the Great Plains drill home from Macon, Missouri. You, you know, always we, weren't attached to it. You know. Well, yeah, that was the nice lesson that hotel. was the lesson learned about the black machine planner was don't pull it home yourself and pay somebody else to do it. The lesson learned with that was it's going to cost an arm and a leg to get it home because nobody knew what the width measurement was and overall width and what you can legally haul with the hauling company yet again over the highway. government getting in the way of our lives well, and mean, us prospering and getting things done in a timely manner yeah so i know yeah i understand what you're talking about <laughs> yeah oh that was they all do truck driver who gets there he's like so this measures x like 17 and a half or something and the legal width is like 13 or blah 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 what do you want me to do and like is there somebody that can like i need to have it so and i have the money to pay for it so i want you to haul it that's what i, I want, want you to, to haul do. it so i don't know call somebody and have them take Figure all the road units off and put it put them in crates or something and throw it on the back of your trailer. Well, $2,500 later from John Deere. Jeez. Yeah, plus the uh, $2,000 hauling bill. For $4,500, I got the Great Plains 30-foot no-till drill that we drill cover crops with. Got that home. Yeah. So don't ask me about nobody asked but what about that's my adventures of hauling bringing stuff home that you find on facebook marketplace yeah what what about when you bought the 8120 you didn't really have to haul that anywhere because i bought it from him it was already in my driveway <laughs> it's true i had to drive that home from Velisca. And like halfway I'm, home, I started hearing this clunk, clunk, right. clunk See? sound. And I was like, 
Oh my gosh, what is that? Final drives are going at right. Is, is the wheel coming apart from the rim or something where it bolts together? And I, I figured it out. It was just a wheel weight that had a bolt loose. <laughs> well, I met you in I met you in Essex, Essex yeah. with your impact and stuff to, to tighten it back up with or something like that. I don't even think it was my impact. Or I think range. we just had a three quarter drive. Oh, the yeah. Ratchet. Ratchet. Yeah. And socket. And I tightened it up with that. So that was that. But that was at least again. close to home because Willisca, where he bought it's only. Yeah, it's still a long ways in a tractor. 